Darkwing Blast, I got your sneak peek. Let's go. What's up guys, Max back here, your move coming at you with the sneak peek, Darkwing Blast. Um, hyped to get this, actually so, so hyped to actually be able to bring this to you guys a little bit early. Uh, my locals had a sneak peek this weekend um, and uh, managed to get a hold of a box and five packs. If you guys haven't seen the YouTube short, I opened the five packs on the short, um, but I am so hyped to actually get this and uh, bring it to you guys a little bit early so you guys can see, is this second to be worth it or not? Um, it's i'm pretty excited about it now uh, we got fist deals in here we've got a little bit of sprite support which is going to be much needed after uh, running zone and getting hit it's so really really excited to get into this um and uh, i just want to give a big huge shout out to my cousin tanner helped out a little and uh with getting this you know what you did i appreciate it bro um anyhow with that said i'm not gonna waste too much time as i say always and get right into this i am so hyped to actually get into this set um i am actually a branded despia player um, as well as um, other meta decks I have, but I love the branded Despias. I, and I actually was playing those earlier on um, and had decided to, you know what, I, I really need to get into this set to get the best deals um, because I really think branded best deal is actually going to be a pretty good deck to play. Um, so really, really hyped to get into this. Um, before we get into that, real quick, just wanted to show these off. If you guys didn't see on the uh, uh, short, it managed to pull the Spellbound, which is one of the nicer secret rares to get in the set. And it did come with the uh, Field Center, of course, from the Sneak Peek. So always love to get those Field Centers. I got a second one, but I've already kind of put that one away. So I'm gonna get into these. 24 packs, Lost Mist. We're gonna see about uh, what we can pull from it. Um, there's a lot of different uh, supports for some older archetypes in here. Um, so we'll uh, check those out as we're going along here. We'll do the pack trick and uh, see what we can get. One, two, three, four, not too many. Hoping maybe we can finally see if we can get pull a Starlight today. Highly doubt it. But uh, lots of Amazonas is in here. Um, as you'll see with these common Scareclaw getting some support in here too. Um, a pendulum, is it? I think that might be, uh, no, I was gonna say, I thought for a second, maybe that was uh, some support for the Valiants. And hey, starting out on the very top, Goaty is the other one getting some more support in here. So we already got uh, one of the new Goaty cards. I know it's official pronunciation is Goaty. I do have a, uh, have seen a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh official TCG video where they do pronounce it Goaty, but you can also say fish because phonetically it should be pronounced fish because <laughs> English is weird, um, <laughs> but, uh, anyhow, uh, so already pulling an ultra off the top. Not too bad. I'm not one of the ultras I was looking for. We're looking actually to pull, uh, like I said, some of the uh, uh, Bestial stuff. I already pulled one super rare from the Bestial and an ultra rare. The ultra rare isn't necessarily used too much. Cucumber horse. I, I, whatever and black wings is the other one an older archetype definitely getting some support in here so kind of excited to see those and i love seeing older archetypes getting some support bringing them back into revelant uh, Re sorry bringing them back into relevance can't talk tonight um but really really hyped to see those and i, I don't know how competitive that's going to be we'll have to see but i anytime you get something like that um where you're there bringing back old archetypes uh you can't be help be excited about that ninja's getting some supporting in here too so pretty uh excited to see what those can do just because the art looks on them on them looks awesome uh, and i really do like the art i've seen so far from the ninjas and the older uh, ninja art as well too so um let's see here two three four um as i said i have done so many times before we're gonna just kind of cruise through these uh naturia is another archetype getting support in here so pretty hyped to see that scareclaw trap there tear lament scream oh oh i am so hyped to see this this is also part of the bestial sport a little something there on there oh good just a little flake i'm so hyped to see that that is awesome the blazing cartesia the virtuous this is the latest evolution of the incredible ecclesia so very hyped to see that very big part of the best deal uh, branded decks um so really really happy to get that that is awesome i am so happy to see that uh, and for my purposes that is one of the cards I definitely wanted out of here. Um, the other best deals in here, there's a couple of them that are supers, so they should be too hard to get. Uh, there's another Cheerio with some damage at the top, but I will say these do feel a little bit better and I forgot totally to do the trick there. Branded Beast, actually, that is actually, I just like that art. That looks like that is 
a Luber with his mask off. That is some awesome art though. So I forgot to do the pack trick, but I, and that is awesome to see that. I am so hyped um, by that art. Again, like I said, I'm a huge branded Despia fan, um, as you guys had seen from my uh, other playmat that I have. So probably should have used that one for this opening, but so hyped to see them get the best deals in here. And I think gonna really, really give a boost to branded Despia as well. More Black Wings there, Amazonas's Tilting Entertainment. And love the art on that too, but more lore we're getting in here for the branded Despia, which if you ask me, it was one of the best lures that I've seen in a while come out of Konami. I, I would love to see an anime now that made out of the uh, whole branded Despia uh, lore, uh, Albaz, Tri Brigades, all that stuff would be so awesome just to see that made into an anime. I doubt we'll ever get that, but even a manga, I would be so hyped to see and read that manga if we could. I'm the artist that uh, made the art for those cards. Kudos, I gotta tip my hat to them. And, uh, Oh, well, there we go. There's our second Ultra, Katakushi Fenrir. I, and this one actually, I believe, has some pretty good effects. It might be the other Kashateria. I'm not sure, but I'm still art on that looks awesome. Um, I will be posting prices on here, um, but do keep in mind that some of the prices that I'm posting on here, these are pre-sale prices. They are bound to change. Um, so <laughs> I don't hold it to it. If you're watching this later after this set's been out for a little while, uh, those were the prices at the time of pre-release that I am filming it. I am aware that the prices have probably dropped. So, but I just like to give you an idea. Um, I do think pre-sale prices are a little relevant just to show you what people are looking at getting. There we go. There's another one of the best deals. So very, I don't think we use that one in the best deal. Um, but I think, uh, Branded Despia, that Bistial uh, branded Despia, but still glad to see those. And uh, like I said, a lot of them, I believe, are supers. Not all of them, but um, the most important one, of course, is Secret Hairs. <laughs> but and is that always the way? So I am actually going to definitely. I've already pre-ordered several more of these boxes, so going to be getting into those as well. Um, Donner, another for hire card there too. For hire is getting some link support, that which is awesome. But I am just. So tickled to be opening this. <laughs> I am so hyped. And this is probably one of the sets I've been looking forward to. More so even than uh, Power of the Elements. Uh, Power of the Elements wasn't so kind to me. Hoping this can be a little bit more with those best deals and all the other support we're getting in here. And there we go. That is it's kind of cool looking art. Uh, but the ninjas art on them looking awesome. Look at that. Oh. Already off to a pretty great start here on the right hand side. Still got over half a box to go. We're getting gonna get some really good pulls, I still think. Still ahead, only halfway through. And Dragonic. Uh, Curse of Aramateer. This is actually some support for the adventure token. Um, from reading the card online, it looks like it's Red of Aramateer Light. Um, <laughs> so I don't know how good that's going to be or if it's going to be used. Rex for a uh, Fright for Hired. That's actually some pretty cool art there, too. Uh, and that does pop very well. But yeah, that uh, adventure token support, I don't think it's going to be doing anything. I don't think anybody's going to be using it, but I, I could be wrong. I have been wrong before. Um, all right, last pack on the right hand side. So we've already gotten two of our altars and the secret on the right, Naturias, Amazonas. So not gonna be expecting anything other than a super there with a black wing. And I will say so far, feeling these cards, it do feel better than the power of the elements side. All right, first pack on the left hand side, getting into this left side see what else what other we cards we can get here like i said on this side not going to worry about patrick just going to get through here and at the very top pulling an ultra already with the ninjistu art notebook of mystery i am not sure what the value is on that nothing else really going there but i know that is support for the ninjas so let's see what else we got in here so still one more ultra one more secret what we should be getting, but whether we'll actually get that. Vernacell's getting some support in here too, which is kind of cool too, because I mean, that deck, I again, I do think that deck is going to be doing some pretty good stuff. And Kachatiri, I actually pulled that in my other five packs I already opened, so I think that is support for 
I'm not sure, to be honest with you. Looks sort of like the art for you get for the Goaties. So Turbo Tinted Hot Rod GT19 with its super long name there. Prediction Princess, a ritual there, super. And moving along, um, I do know the Labyrinths are getting the support in here. The, one of the uh, big secrets from this is actually also uh, the big Labyrinth Mommy. Uh, big boss, I believe, for the Labyrinths, so that's pretty cool. Matures, Amazonas, Turbo Tainted. Ooh, ooh, Sprite Sprint. This is the Sprite support I was talking about that would be in this set. This is actually a really really good link too that is going to definitely help out the sprites so really hyped to see that that is awesome we will leave that right there so that way i can be seeing nothing else to go going on there secret i already got two of our secret rares, and those are two really good secret rares so far this box i am pretty happy with so far um wouldn't mind seeing some more best deals in here to help with that build in the future but again like i said i got some more boxes coming so and there we go, Drew us a worm. That is actually one of the ones that you do use, I believe, three in with the best deal. So pretty hyped to see that. That is definitely going to be going in the deck. Um, and hopefully I can get some more of those cards to get out build out. I know I've promised deck builds. I, I get stuff done and then I play it for a couple weeks and then the meta changes. <laughs> Probably should be more on. I, I should just buy some of these singles rather than trying to get them out of uh, packs. Cacheteria Rebirth or Birth there. Um, but I, I enjoy doing the pack openings. I enjoy uh, built and deck building through packs. I know, yes, it's more expensive than just buying the singles, but as I've said before, I don't get as much content out of it. Um, but I do enjoy playing in it quite a bit. That is actually why I do this is, hey, Valiant's Awakening solo activation. So Valiant's getting some support in here too. Um, not one I was necessarily looking for, but I'm sure my nephew wouldn't mind that because as he's, I said, he has all my other Valiant's cards. He's trying to do something with them. I don't know how competitive it's gonna be. Kid's smart though, he'll figure something out. <laughs> um, all right, so I already got that ultra there. I think we are due. I think that's all of them, but maybe we can get a secret or get an air box. More black wing support there. Wouldn't mind getting a uh, starlight as well, too. But yeah, that is one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yep, that's four ultras. Uh, counting is hard. Um, <laughs> so I ain't got two secrets, but hey, never know. Hopefully, we can get a starlight in here. Would this be the set where we finally have Starlight? That would be pretty awesome, but who knows? Baku the Beast Ninja, that's a ninja support there. That is actually some pretty cool looking art too. I do like that. That looks pretty dope actually, so. All right, nothing else really going in as far as those commons. Three more packs left. Can we get a uh, uh, Starlight in here? Get an air box, get an extra uh, Ultra or a Starlight. Wouldn't be upset about that. I know. Bonuses are always good. Let's see here. Go to Cosmos, Amazonas. Like I said, lots of the Amazonas is in here as well. Terrors of the Hidden City. I and mean, that is one creepy looking claw coming out of the ground there. All right, two packs left. Last two packs here. I and mean, we'll see what else we can pull from here. I do know there are plenty of other common cards that actually are gonna be pretty meta relevant um, in here, I believe. Um, Scareclaw's getting some sport in here too. I think I've already pulled a couple of those. Another uh, Shade of the Goatee. That one's actually more of those Goatee fish support. So those, I don't know. It still seems like they could do something and they are supporting them pretty heavy. So I, who knows, I'll have to look into that a little bit more. I got plenty of it from the uh, Power of the Elements and I did pull the Secret Rare boss monster from it in multiple, so who knows? Amazonas, and can it be an extra starlight, or an extra secret, or an ultra, or even a starlight? Let's see, nope, that's Sprite, double cross. Don't know if that's gonna be anything good, I hadn't really looked too much into that one, but we'll have to see if that does help out with the sprites. But with that said, we are doing pretty good here with our first box, with this sneak peek. Sprite Sprint, huge, huge pull for the sprites. The Blazing Cartesia, Ecclesia, that is her newest form for the Bistials. 
I am hyped to see that. Got some ninjas here and valiants that I will not use and I'll give to my nephew. And at least some really cool art with this Cody. Um, so not gonna complain. This was actually a pretty good box if you ask me. Um, as I said, I will post the pro, uh, prices that are uh, on there. Right now they are pre-sale prices. I am sure they are bound to change. But still, I uh, just to give you an idea of what they're going for pre-sale. With that said, I won't keep you guys any longer. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, share with your mom. Until next time, it's your move.